Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. So today we are doing this look right here and I love this look. I cannot wait to show you guys how I did it and all the products I used. Everything is going to be from Dollar Tree, one of my absolute favorite stores and you guys know that I put out tons of Dollar Tree content. I have a whole Instagram page devoted to Dollar Tree finds and videos and fun things like that so definitely check that out it's always linked in my description box it is at dollar tree dolly d-o-l-l-i-e so make sure you're following me on there i post on there all the time i'm always on stories there so if you guys want to find out how i got this makeup look using products i found at dollar tree for only one dollar just keep watching and don't forget also to subscribe if you are new and tap the notification bell so you do not miss out on my videos i upload tons of fun content like this Shop with me's hauls, Dollar Tree, TJ Maxx, Affordable Beauty. So you definitely want to be notified when I upload and let's just get right on into it. Okay guys, so let's start out with eyes. I feel like I don't have like an eyeshadow palette that I found recently at Dollar Tree. I have more single things like single liquid glitters that I've been hauling and I'll show you guys those. I'm sure you've seen them in my haul videos, but I'll show you again. Here is my basket. I'm sure you guys have seen this with all my Dollar Tree stuff. So once I film a haul, I put the stuff in here that I have to test. A lot of the stuff I already tested. That's why it's so full. Um, and then after I test it, I put it in my drawers. I'm definitely going to use some of these liquid glitters today. I'm just trying to pick which one. So I have the Prism Flip Glitterazzi in this like really pretty duochrome color. If you guys remember I did a haul, this was in there. And then this is a really fun purple one called Twinkle. So I'm trying to decide which one I want to use today because as always, I'm winging it. Start out, I just went ahead and primed my eyes with the Believe Beauty Primer. I've been using this in like every video. I really love it. It is from Dollar General. And then on top of that, I'm going to go in with a product that I got at Dollar Tree that has been a favorite for years. You guys already know it. The Wet n Wild Creme Brulee Single. This is life. I go through these like water. I actually have two right now. One is almost done. So this is my second one. I just opened up. All over on top of my eye. And I bring this all the way up to the brow bone. So for eyeshadow, I'm going to start out first with the Old Faithfuls, the LA Colors Berry and Peach Palettes. I love these. I think they work so well. They're definitely deceiving because they're so small when you look at them, but actually the quality of the shadows is pretty nice, honestly. I've used these so many times and I think they're really good. So I think first I'm going to start out with the Peach Palette and just take one of these like matte shades and put it in the crease. Probably this one, it's going to be so hard to see, but this one right here. So the downside is definitely trying to get your brush into these little dime size containers. I honestly think they're smaller than a dime size, but I mean, it's like really good. <laughs> I think these are great. I really hope I can find more eyeshadow palettes at Dollar Tree. There was one or not one, but there was like a few hard candy ones I had found a few months back but I didn't end up picking any up and I really should have because I feel like it's a little bit more rare to find like eyeshadow palettes at the Dollar Tree. I do though have actually oh I have to take that one out I have that hard candy one which I've used before. These are definitely the two best eyeshadow palettes I found from Dollar Tree and they're so pretty. I feel like it's definitely more rare to find these but if you do find them I recommend picking them up. This is the Look Pro Earthy Vixen. And there was a time when they had so many of these in stock at my store. So I am trying to decide like what I want to do because it's going to kind of determine what glitter I end up using on the eyes. Maybe we will go with this purple one just because you guys know I love purple. So I am going to dip into this pink shade right here. It's like a light pink shade and I'm just gonna pop this right onto the outer corner of my eye. I'm gonna go into the berry palette and I know you guys it's gonna be so hard to see because these are really small but it's like a brown matte shade and I'm gonna put this in the outer corner. I'm 
continually impressed by these little palettes like the pigment that I just got from this is crazy don't worry I don't mind if it's messy because we'll just end up kind of blending it out this guy the brush I was telling you about and we are going to pack some concealer on so I don't know if you guys remember and sorry my nose is getting so red I think it's the lights when it gets hot my nose gets red when I'm filming so this is the Milani Retouch and Erase Light Lifting Concealer. I really love this concealer and I cannot believe it was at <laughs> Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to put some on my eye and I'm going to tap the excess off on the back of my hand. And I'm just going to use this to carve out a little space on my eyelid because wherever I carve out that space is where we're going to put the glitter. So just tap that on the eye. Just the easiest technique. Especially if you want to take this, you know, makeup that we're finding, this dollar store makeup, and make it look super expensive. So we have our little space carved out on the eye, and then I'm going to go in with Twinkle. Really pretty packaging. Like, look how stunning that is. Pretty that is. That is so right up my alley. Just dab it right on top. Beautiful. You guys have to grab these Glitterati glitters. Because they are reminding me so much of the Stila ones. And I love this twinkle color. It's like a pink lilac purple. So these can get a little bit thick if you layer them on. So I recommend doing more of a thinner layer. And if it starts to get a little patchy, just put more product on your finger and then dot it on the eye. I just did that with this eye. I felt like it worked if it was getting a little patchy because... I do have a lot of layers on right now, so I'm just going to go on this eye now and just pat the product on. And I do like this application method with the brush or pat it on with your finger. I feel like that is what works best. But I would definitely say this is a really great dupe for the Stila glitters. If you're looking for one that's like super budget friendly because I think this these are so good. I like had a feeling they were going to be good, but now that I'm seeing them, I'm like, they're so pretty. And I love pink glitters like this. They just make me happy. My NYX Jumbo Pencil Milk, which is not from the Dollar Tree, but honestly, it's like $4.99. It's amazing. And I use it literally every single day. And I always get questions from you guys asking about my inner corner. And it's always this. This is the perfect base. So once you have that on... I'm going to go ahead and take another one of those Glitterazzi liquid sparklers. This one is in Aurora. So pretty. I'm just going to use this little brush I have here. I use this all the time. It's the Profusion Flat Precise Eyeshadow. This is such a good little synthetic brush for the inner corner. I literally use it in every single video. The Profusion brushes are awesome. And this is like a duochrome white. It's not like a pure white. And I'm just going to add this right on top of that NYX Jumbo Pencil. Kind of extending it out a little more on the lower lash line because I really want it to be super ethereal. And I feel like that's the look that you get with this. And trust me you guys, this will look better when my whole face is done. Right now, I look a little crazy. If you're doing eyeshadow, it's all about going back in, adding, taking away. It's kind of like how an artist would be when they're doing a painting. You add more color, you take away color until you feel like... You like the way it looks. I'm going to go on the lower lash line with that same like reddish brown shade and just smoke that out on the lower lash line. Then I'm going to take the Ultimate Highlighter from Wet n Wild. I actually put a backup of this because it's one of my favorite products ever. It is also a dupe for the Benefit Highbrow. So I'm going to put this in my waterline. And this is just like the prettiest pinkish light color that really brightens up the inner eye and just makes your eyes look super big and pretty and awake. For eyeliner, I am obsessed with the Marilyn Monroe Hard Candy Eyeliner Collab. It is so good. I truly regret not buying a backup of this because now I can't find it. I can only find the gold one, which is really literally no color at all. So don't buy the gold one. But if you do get the black one, buy it because it is that perfect, like, brush tip that applies so beautifully so if you can't find that you can also use the la colors matte liquid liner which is really good as well or the la colors pen is another favorite you guys know i use that one all the time it's gonna do a wing as i usually do and this pen makes it unbelievably easy to do 
I really hope I can find another one of these. So I am going to go about halfway in. I won't go all the way in, which is something I've been doing recently. Okay, so I already moisturized and I have a primer that I have been loving that I have to share with you guys. I talked about it on TikTok and I think on Instagram. This guy right here, it's actually a duo-sided product. So it's from Flower Beauty and this is the Instant Blur Stick and Multitasking Foundation. So on one side you have a foundation, which I did try, and I have the shade Warm Beige. And then the other side is actually a Primer. So it's kind of funny. I actually have two foundation sticks. I have the flower one which I did try and then this one which I have not tried yet So I think I want to use it. It's the Maybelline Superstay multi-use foundation stick in buff beige So I'm really curious about this and I mean I'm not going to use the other side of this that has this little sponge because I just don't have a use for it but we are going to try out the foundation side the flower foundation if you guys are curious i do really like it i think it is a good foundation i like the way my skin looked when i use it i wasn't like fully obsessed with it i thought it was good and i definitely think it's worth picking up for a dollar like i really love flower products and i'm so thrilled that you can get them at dollar tree but i feel like the magic is really in the blur stick it really does work to blur out your pores and it just twists up so i put this on and you can instantly see the smoothing effect it has on the skin and instantly takes away shine. It's really crazy and I love it. I've been using this like every day. So you saw my nose was really shiny before and now it's not. So it's multi-purpose because it's going to get rid of that shine. It's also going to help smooth out your skin. I love it. Where you are feeling oily and... Like you need to smooth some pores, which I definitely do. I have a sponge to try. It is the Sassy and Cheek Blender Sponge. I have not tried this one yet. I did try the charcoal one, which you guys know I absolutely love. I can't find that one anymore. Like I have mine that I bought, but I can't find it in the store anymore. I'm gonna wet this and see how it is. I am hoping it's soft because you guys know I like soft sponges i do not like ones that are hard like a rock okay right out of the packaging it does feel really nice and soft it actually reminds me a lot of the beaky blender sponges from amazon that come in like a pack of i think it's like five it has that same kind of feel to it good news to report it is very soft and squishy look at that oh my gosh well there's cat hair everywhere of course <laughs> but it is so soft wow Okay, this could be a winner. There's some coverage there. I think this is definitely going to be full coverage. It says cream to matte formula and full coverage. I feel like Dollar Tree has had so many stick foundations recently. We had the flesh one, this one, the flower one. Color is actually a really good match, which is always nice. This looks really good compared to the other side. It gave such nice coverage. I feel like my skin doesn't look completely matte. It has like a little bit of a satin finish to it. So now let's go in and blend out the other side. And that was really just one layer. That's really all I needed. And I like this because it doesn't feel thick and like cakey. Sponge update. It is really, really good, you guys. You have to pick this one up from Sassy and Chic. Definitely full coverage. But it doesn't feel heavy on my skin. Concealer, I'm just going to go ahead and use the Milani Retouch and Erase because this is the one that I have. And this is really the only new concealer that's come out at Dollar Tree. I haven't seen another one since this one. And that's fine with me because I really like this concealer. And I don't know if I told you guys, but I am O2 Light. And I'm using the other side of this sponge to blend out the concealer. And it's working really nicely. And I like to blend my concealer up pretty high on my face here. I wouldn't say this is the most full coverage concealer. I do feel like I still see a little bit of darkness under my eyes, but I guess it's just more of like a lightweight kind of concealer. So good for like every day, I would say. It is more of a light diffusing concealer, so it's going to have more of a dewy finish rather than like a very full coverage finish, which I do like. I'm going to go ahead and set my under eyes with my favorite. I use this in like every Dollar Tree video. It's the Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana for under the eyes. It's just so pretty, and it also highlights your face at the same time. I'm using like a little setting brush 
think this I got this in boxy charm I do have a new shade of the LA Colors blush sticks to play with. This is in the shade Glowin'. I'm excited to try this. I also have this guy, which I think is going to be a really pretty topper. It's the Hard Candy Blush Crush Baked Blush in Honeymoon. So let's see if I can kind of use those together and make that work. Use the sponge for this. Maybe just put some on this side and then blend it into the skin. Ooh, that is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Wow, I love that. That just gives the prettiest little sheen to the skin. And I think this sponge is helping to just like diffuse that color. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Do you guys see that? It's like the most pretty pink. I'm in love with this. I went a little bit overboard on this side, but that is stunning. Wow. It does have like the very little bit of slightest sheen to it. And when you really put it high up on those cheekbones, it catches the light so beautifully. Like, look at that. Let's see if I can actually use this as a highlighter because it's kind of giving me some highlighter vibes. This blush is kind of also giving me that like sunburnt vibes look, which I really like. I'm very trending recently, like having the sunburnt blush. And this actually is a beautiful highlighter. You can use it as a blush chopper or a highlighter. And especially wearing that pink blush, I feel like it blended in so beautifully and it looks natural too. So you can find this. It's definitely, again, one of those things that's like more hard to find, unfortunately. But this one and the other like baby pink one are really pretty. Contour, I really like these palettes. They're from Broadway Colors, which are the same people who make Kiss products. The cream one and then there's a powder one. So let's see if I can use the cream one first this shade right here and i'm just gonna dip into the sponge we're using this literally for everything because i love it and i'm just gonna put this right underneath the cheekbone like so and then just blend that in blends in super nice into the skin okay this sponge is bomb this one you guys gotta get and this contour palette is so good too we're moving on to powder contour still not over the cheeks they're giving so i'm gonna dip into this broadway this one right here and just go lightly over that cream you don't have to do this if you just want to do creams but i'm just being a little bit extra today so i'm definitely gonna have another dollar tree makeup tutorial coming like very soon after this one because i have so much fun stuff to try with you guys there's been so much makeup um, that's been coming out and I have like holes I have to do so just hang tight because there's a lot so I'm already loving all of this and now what else we did blush bronzer highlight um oh brows one of the best products is this LA colors brow gel I use it all the time I have the shade deep brown oh good you guys oh my goodness LA color when they come out with good stuff they come out with good stuff it's kind of crazy how good it is for a dollar i'm just gonna pick up some with my favorite essence brush this is the best eyeliner brush you guys in the world if you do not have it you have to get it i think it's two dollars at ulta and it's the precise eyeliner brush but i use it for brows it is so thin so amazing precise as the name says and i can't live without it i think i have like six of them i'm just gonna do one brow here go right underneath and then I just push the product up and then fill in the rest of my brow. Pretty easy. And this makes it so easy to use. That's literally it. That's like all I need to do. And it's done. For that, I will use the e.l.f. Brow Gel, which is one of my favorites. And you can also get this at Dollar Tree, of course. It's so good. It reminds me of the Patrick Ta. I actually should do a I'm gonna do a dupes video for you guys lashes I just went ahead and curled my lashes with this trim eyelash curler which I also picked up at Dollar Tree it is a name brand and I do really like it go in with the LA colors primer and I think this is pretty widely available at all Dollar Trees next with the Maybelline snap mascara mascara and this is I think the black cherry color black cherry it's literally just a black it looks burgundy in the tube but it's not and i am gonna add some ioni lashes of course i'm gonna try these today they're the wispy crisscross and this was from their summer launch but every time they come out with a collection all the styles remain the same so if you see like a holiday launch it should just be the same 
name wispy crisscross if you guys want to look for these okay so lashes are on i love these they are so so pretty the crisscross is really unique i feel like for some reason you can see the crisscross more on this eye than this eye i don't know why that is i want to play with um a lip color that i got that's really cool and i'm going to also use the maybelline color sensational that i got at dollar tree and the shade is nude 20. So I don't know if this is going to work as it's advertised, but it's supposed to be a dupe for the Ciate Glitter Flip. It's the Glitterazzi Hard Candy Press and Play. I actually have two. I have this bright red, which obviously like isn't going to go with this eye look. I do really want to try this one though. And then this is the more nude one. This is called Dazzle. It's supposed to make your lips look sparkly. So I don't know. I heard that for these, the deeper colors like the reds and stuff perform better with the glitter actually showing up so cute Ooh, i like this color it's like a brown a good fall nude color i'm not used to wearing a color like this but i really like it so i'm gonna press my lips together and see if any glitter shows up I don't see nothing. There's no glitter there. Really love this color. I think it is super beautiful. So let's just move on to our last step, which I think is just going to be setting spray. And I'm going to use this 12 hour long wear setting spray from Hard Candy. This one says it has cucumber extract, fights humidity, fade resistant. There's no glycerin. So I'm assuming this is not going to be a dewy setting spray. Let's let her go. It smells like cucumber. This is the completed look using old Dollar Tree products. I absolutely love it. I think this is probably my favorite Dollar Tree look I've done so far. I am so impressed with everything I used today. Just some quick top favorites. I'm obsessed with the Glitterati Liquid Sparkler in Twinkle. Completely like made the look i think these are gorgeous 100 percent recommend you guys pick these up if you find them they are so good and definitely a stila glitter and glow dupe loved the maybelline foundation i feel like it gave a really beautiful coverage to my skin and just overall looks so pretty and not thick or cakey at all so i will definitely continue to use this i love the liquid version of this so i'm actually not surprised that i like this so much and then this sponge from Sassy and Chic is amazing. It is so soft, so squishy, and it blended out everything like a dream from foundation to concealer to the blush and the contour, the cream contour. This did everything, and it is awesome, you guys. Pick this up. It is a gem. I already told you how much I love the LA Colors Brow Gel. This is so good. Like, it acts like a high-end product, so... Pick this up if you can find it. Usually things are so random at Dollar Tree. Like sometimes you'll find stuff and then sometimes you won't. But if you see this and you can find a color, definitely grab it. If you have not tried these little palettes yet, do not give them a like once over and then leave. Grab them. I know it can be a little bit sad because it's so small and that will definitely like turn people off from thinking they're not good. But they are so good. Like look at the way the outer corner of my eye looks just from using these like that is insane i also told you guys how much i love the maryland eyeliner this is the packaging this is the gold one but if you want to look for the packaging it has all these little roses on it it is so amazing loved the lashes from my oni today the wispy crisscross these are gorgeous i also love that i can reuse them that is such a bonus one of my top favorite products i've ever tried from dollar tree that you guys have to get is this little la colors blush stick in the shade glow in you guys, this is absolutely stunning. I really hope it's going to last on the cheeks. It is the prettiest pink with a little bit of glow. I was stunned when I put it on because it is so beautiful. And cream blushes are 
really a hit right now. You see them everywhere in makeup, on TikTok, Instagram, all the brands are coming out with one. So if you want to try out that trend and you're looking for a really beautiful color to try at an affordable price point, then pick this one up. I have a couple of these and this color is by far my favorite. I love it. It just gives your cheeks that beautiful bit of glow. It's kind of an overall um, everything wrapped up what I thought. I also love the setting spray from Hard Candy. That was super good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Dollar Tree makeup tutorial. I really had so much fun doing it. I love doing these videos and I'm definitely going to keep doing them. And I think you guys really like them too. If you do, please give this video a big thumbs up. Comment below and make sure you're subscribed, of course. And when you do all those things like commenting and liking, it really helps out my channel so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!